All right, ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to our next bout of the evening. This is an elimination MMA bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds of the welterweight division. Introducing first out of the blue corner, Elias Sigozi. Welterweight fighters, that means 170 pound division up now. Yeah, and I've seen this guy fight before and he can fight. Out of Miami, Florida. Miami FLA to the elevation. I remember last time it didn't bother him a bit. Elias Agozi. Out of the red corner, Grant Tuberty. Tuberty do. Mr. Tuberty making his way to the cage. He's a representative of Grizzly MMA out of Alamosa, Colorado. The Mean Moose. The Alamosa Mean Moose is what they're called up there, just so you know. <laughs> Which uh, they have a good wrestling program. Otherwise, right slow. Alamosa has been known to put out many state champions. Excellent. All right, our tail of the tape. Elias Agozi, 35 years old, six feet tall, 170 pounds. As a freestyle fighter, he has a record of three and four. Mr. Tubridi, also a freestyle fighter, 26 years old, six feet one inches tall, made 170 pounds for us. Thank you, sir. One and zero is his record. Endurance Contracting is sponsoring this fight. It should be a good one. First of the main card. Congratulations to all our of the year 2023 award winners. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an elimination MMA bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Let's meet our fighters. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue sports stable blue corner. He's a freestyle fighter with a record of three wins and four losses. He stands six foot tall. He weighed in at 170 pounds with Elevation Fight Team from Miami, Florida, Elias Eagles! Another Elevation Fight Teamer tonight. Yes, indeed. Fighting out of the Endurance General Contracting Red Corner. He's a freestyle fighter with a record of one win, no losses. He checked in at six foot, one inches tall, 170 pounds, with Grizzly MMA from Alamosa, Colorado, Grant Turbo Tubridi. Turbo is his nickname. 
Fathers, you were given instructions. I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Touch glove if you want. Back to your court. Tuberty wears the red tape. Egozi has the blue tape. Tuberty looks ready. Egozi joining Elevation Fight Team. Last time out, he was very good. As has been this entire card, as a matter <laughs> yes, of fact. Yes, indeed. Except for we got to sit by Stewie. It's like getting, you know, sh the short straw. These guys waste no time oh, getting after it. Agozi going for the takedown. But look at that. Look at getting right back to his feet. Good job by Agozi. Turberty doing a great job getting right back to his feet. High level stuff here. Trying to knees, corners calling for knees. Agozi doing a good job with his pressure, keeping Tuberty pressed up against the cage. Yep. Just as I say that, he's able to turn off, but Agozi takes back control. Doesn't quite have it solidly secured. But again, high level stuff. You're looking at the hand fighting here of two really good fighters. Switches off to the high crotch. And how about Turbity? Yeah, Turbity does a good job defending. Great job. Turns right back in. And then comes Solid up with a knee. knee. And then comes over with a right hand. Ooh, Turbity takes a stiff jab. The socks are there, meaning the lower kick is there. A little bit of a low strike, no damage done. Ooh, that sounded like it hurt. Ooh, good right hand by Igozi. Turbity continuing to come forward. Awkward crescent kick. That one missed. Low kick by Turbity. Turbo Turbity. Too pretty. Too pretty. Turbo. Too pretty. Tubridi has a deceptively long jab. Yeah, he does. It's weird. And it's a little bit off-timed as well. And uh, he has success with it because of that. Something that you don't expect. You're expecting a certain angle, a certain... Yeah. It's more than you think it is. He goes oh. and shoots for the takedown. Well-timed. Oh, well-timed. But Tubridi gets his back against the cage. Nice There's balance the finish. momentarily, yep. but Egozi committed to it. Yeah, and it was great timing when he did it. And Tubridi did a great job initially holding off, but he just couldn't. Ten seconds left. Tubridi going to hold on from the bottom, try to minimize the striking I'll options. I'll tell you what, that's a really tough round to call, in my opinion. Agreed. I, I, I don't know who you call that round. But I can tell you what, Elias Agozi from Elevation knows he's in a fight. <laughs> that he does. Seeing the fighters doing some work from the distance here on the replay. Pretty even back and forth exchanges. All right, here we go. Round number two. Too pretty. Coming out with a kick right away. A gozy. Really cranking up that lower leg kick. <laughs> Tuberty was setting up a spin there. Oh, misses with the head kick. Actually goes over his opponent's head. But as I started to say, he was setting up a spin kick. And 
to Britty with the big shots, but Agosi with a great job of getting the takedown instead. He's got a lot more time to work here than he had at the end of round one. Let's see what he can do with yep. it. Two minutes, 22 seconds here. Full mount for Egozi. To Brady not doing anything as far as trying to escape yet, just holding his opponent down, controlling the posture, negates some of the striking options. And in answer, he goes, he goes with a cross face, presses up, gets himself some distance. Goes his corner to let's put on that pressure. Yeah, that's where that he got to give me a couple good shots from upstairs there. Boom. He goes. He Boom. Has, Boom. has room to work his strikes now. Yeah. Working Too it all around. going to try to roll out. Almost. Almost did. Very close. He goes. He good job with this hip pressure. Looking to set there up the submission. Super. Yeah. Kind of has the arm floating out in space. It makes it a little bit difficult. Yeah. And Tubridi with the leg threaded between them now. See if we can affect a backdoor escape. Watch that kick. Uh, it's a, that's actually two fouls. That's a kick to the back of the head, and it's a kick to a down fighter. And now going to try to work a submission again. Here's he goes. A little bit of a chicken wing action. Twisting. Chicken wing. So that's the second time that he committed the same foul. Thirty still, still game. Yeah, yeah, he's still well within this fight. But then he, he, oh, he yeah. over, you know, he over. Overcommitted, yep. And he gets taken right back down. Good job by Igozi capitalizing. Yeah, and that's the thing about the elevation fighters. When you get the guys from the elevation fight team, they're going to make you pay for your mistakes like you just saw. Solid round for Igozi from elevation fight team there. But he is breathing hard. I will yes. tell you that. You look back at it in, in this round, what's been successful, and we're with the Elevation Fight Team, you, you, you work with guys all the time that are at another level. So you can take that level up during your fight against yes. your opponent. And and you see Agozi here just digging to the body with shots, coming up top, changing things up. It, it's a different breed when you get a, an attack at all different levels. Yes. As I like to say, you're in with a room full yeah. of killers every day, and it yeah. makes a difference. Yeah. When you when you train at that gym, it does make a difference. Here we go. Seconds out, ready for the third and final round. Is this going to be the only one to go the distance so far? <laughs> and Tubridi throws an immediate kick and again gets taken down. He goes his takedown game on point, on point tonight. Rubber guard for Tabriti. Again, working to control the posture of Igozi. Igozi, I mean, he goes to the ground and he knows what he has to do. And he, he stays with the recipe. Turbity's in desperation mode, so he's got to do anything. Yes. Tubridi loses the rubber guard position. Still does have a leg threaded between the two fighters. Tubridi is a tough fighter, though. Oh, They're, my goodness. Tell you. There's no, no doubt about that. A lot of right things, correct things happening in his game. Almost had a triangle position set up. Didn't, uh, didn't seem to recognize it. Now, so, I will say this. Agozi's got seven fights. And you look at Tubridi, this is his only second fight. Yeah. I mean, there's going to be a lot of growth between number two and number seven. <laughs> a lot of growth. But at the moment, it doesn't matter because you're taking lessons. Full guard now for Tabriti. 
Bogosi not getting off with the ground and pound that he wants, and that's because Tubridi's doing a good job controlling his posture. He's been able to do that throughout most of the fight. Yeah, right now it's just a matter of how decisively he's winning this fight with a minute 24 left. Because unless it's a miracle here, Tubridi just doesn't have the game. First round, he looked okay. May have won the first round, matter of fact. Hard head pressure there by Egozi. He uses that to get a escape, develops that distance that he wants. Only gets off one strike, though, before Tabriti wraps him up again. He's become a different fighter since becoming from Miami to Elevation Fight Team. And when you train at Elevation, it's just a different animal. Agreed. You can't simulate that. All right, damage now, damage. Right away. 48 seconds left, and they're still calling for more damage. This fight's pretty much locked up. But they want more. And as fans, of course, that's what we like to see. All guys always working to finish. And Tabriti throwing up some strikes off of his back. Scrambles up to his feet. Head control for Tubridi. No real danger of a guillotine yet. No. Tubridi's worn out. But, man, he's going, man, I, I got into it with got it. Wrestling. And with about 10 seconds left, Agozi puts it on the mat again. I think respect uh, for both fighters. That was a tough fight. I'll tell you, there was nothing given. Everything was earned in that fight. Those are the fights that you want to win because you've earned that win. Yeah, definitely get to go home saying I earned that one. Good phrasing there, Todd. Ladies and gentlemen, after that three-round battle, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score this bout 30-27. In favor of your winner by unanimous decision, Elias Igoze! Big Sexy, talk to our winner. Get excited, Sparta. I'm here with your winner. I got to know, how did fight camp go for you this time? Same as always, hard as shit. <laughs> and we expect that at, ele at elevation now, don't we, though? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, it looks like uh, wrestling was a big portion of it today. Do you expect that coming in? Just trying to add to the game and bring new weapons out. Absolutely. Uh, what was one of the, fun the funnest part about this for you? It's just fighting is fun and shit. All of it. I love oh. it, man. Is there anybody out there you want to say thank you to? Lavelle. Keenan, Vinny, Jules, Ryan, my whole team, my whole family, man. Everybody here, thank you. Congratulations again. Well-deserved win on that one. Thank you. Our Elias Agosi from Miami to the Mile High City, from the ocean to the mountains, and now racking up victories in the Mile High City with Elevation Fight Team.